never say that shit, that shit. Like bad kids, bitch, we reckless, y'all. Yeah. Well, hearts are like taxes, right? What's good YouTube, it's your boy Guap Santa back in with another video and in today's video I am really excited to bring to you guys and show to you guys some amazing Need for Speed Heat news that I think me and you will both enjoy very very much. Now recently Need for Speed Heat has received a small content update, well I wouldn't necessarily say it was a small content update, really it was just an update in general that fixed some of the core problems with the game, you know it actually added in some more stuff like wheel support if you have like a Logitech steering wheel and you can actually play the game with the Logitech steering wheel they also added that to the game they also added some extra details to the game as well they fixed some bug issues and also I didn't even wanted to make a video about that because I, I felt that it was not really important and other people was going to talk about it anyways but I think that there's a certain part of that reveal update from the under the hood update that we received about a week ago that I'm also going to explain in this video it said and I'm going to Gonna bring that up on screen right now it said that we will be receiving more cars in the future now what cars are we actually going to receive is what we're going to talk about today now as you can see by the title we are going to be receiving a ks edition car pack update now if you don't know what ks stand for it stands for kaizo salim who is the person that's behind the ks edition cars and also the very now iconic uh, KS edition or hero edition pole star one that's in the game now if you're like me You actually love the KS edition cars and actually love how they look from both the evos that they added to the BMW i8 to the c63 coupe to the grand sport Corvette and also my personal favorite the pole star one KS edition now I've actually been driving the shit out of all those cars regardless of what they are I would think I would have to I had to drive the Polestar 1 the most out of all of them if not that it had to be the Corvette out of all the KS edition cars that they provided and even though I love all of them I would still say that the Corvette and the Polestar 1 KS edition is still my favorite out of all of them but in today's video we're also going to be talking about some new leaked images that's in the game files for Need for Speed Heat right now that came in the update yesterday Day, that came in the update yesterday and we're going to be talking about that I'm also going to show you guys the, the screenshots that I found off of reddit and I'm also going to include the links to reddit where I found these screenshots from and I'm also going to leave a link to Kaizo Salim's Instagram so you can check out his work because he's a talented uh, digital renderer and he's actual uh, g a genius to say the least when it comes to actually designing some of these cars now the first screenshot that I'm actually going to bring up on screen right now is two cars. Now, one of the cars I'm going to show you is a car that we all can recognize just from looking at it. And it's the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ or the SV or the Roadster S. Now, I don't, I'm not sure which version of the Lamborghini Aventador this is. But we're just going to simply call it the regular Aventador because I have no clue which one this is. But of course, as you can see right now, it's a yellow Lamborghini Aventador door with a wide body kit and a crazy spoiler option just like we received on the Corvette, the BMW i8, and the KS Edition Polestar 1. Now I would say I'm really rocking that design and that rendered look for the for the Lamborghini Aventador. That is a really nice look on the on that Lamborghini and I'm excited to actually get my hands on that and I'm actually excited to actually add that to my collection if we're actually going to be able to actually unlock these cars within some some missions or some type of objective in the game I just don't want this to be like a car pack we have to pay money up front to actually get these cars that's it and then we just go on about our lives until like the next content update or the next or the next real DLC that's not the case I, I don't want that to be the case at all but this is a really nice car and I'm actually really glad that they actually are willing to add more KS Edition cars like this and I knew that they were actually going to put more KS Edition cars like this in the game when Kaiser Salim actually announced it and actually commented on someone else's Instagram page. Now, the next car that I'm also going to show you guys is something that I wasn't really expecting, but it's still nice nonetheless, and it's the Land Rover Defender. Now, from the screenshots that you can see right now, it has some crazy, crazy customization to it. it even though it has the wide body flares, which pretty much I think... 
I think, don't quote me, but I think it comes with some e extra additional parts for the Land Rover Defender. And it actually comes with not only the wide body kit for the KS edition of the Land Rover Defender, but as you can see on the hood of the car, it actually has exhaust coming out the roof of the car and has slits for those exhaust pipes. Now, that is actually some really crazy designs and it almost reminds me of like Ken Block's Huna truck or the Ken Block Hoonicorn. Now, I don't know if that's where he actually got inspiration from for those exhaust pipes coming out of the hood of the car, but I think that's actually a really good look, especially since this is a KS edition car that's gonna be more special than the standard edition car they will actually have in Need for Speed Heat. And if they actually add this in a new objective and like they add some sort of storyline regarding Roshini and the off-roading missions, and we can actually receive more cars because she said in the story mode that if it wasn't more parts that we're going to be receiving, it's more cars. And one of those cars that we actually received from the actual objectives that we completed in Need for Speed Heat and got done with all the off-road races was Faith Jones's Ford F-150 from Need for Speed Payback. Now, I didn't really recognize that truck at first, but... I actually fell in love with the truck more since it's now a legend edition Ford F-150 and I gotta put some respect on its name now. But I feel like that if we can actually get, unlock this car by actually unlocking and actually completing more off-road races, I think that can add some more good content to the game and actually add some more progression to the game as well. Now, the third and final screenshot that I'm also going to reveal to you guys on, and I'm showing on screen right now is the Lamborghini Countach KS Edition. Now, this car is absolutely wild to say the least. I honestly did not even recognize this car aside from it being a Lamborghini. I didn't even know which Lamborghini it was when I first saw it. And there's an actual physical render of the car in the game and it's in the game files right now. And it actually revealed and on Reddit it was reveal that this is a KS Edition Lamborghini Countach. Now, the wide body kit for this is honestly insane. Now, obviously, this is not going to be the final render or the final version when we hopefully get this update. Now, of course, they're going to add some type of special design and they're going to add some type of special, you know, Kaizo Saleem like wrap on it or some type of Kaizo Saleem branding on it to make it actually feel more special. But also, what I'm going to get into now is something that hopefully can make these KS Edition cars more special. Now, I was watching Black Panther's video, like, not too long ago, like, 10 minutes before I made this video. And he was also saying that, since we have the Kaizo Saleem cars in the game, and since this is a Kaizo Saleem update that we're receiving in the game, like, why not, why not add not only these cars to the game, but they can also allow us and add in those parts from the KS Edition Polestar, the Corvette, the BMW i8, the C63 Coupe, and the Evos, and put those on the standard edition parts for those cars, and we can actually customize those cars with those parts and mix match it with other cars and other car parts and other rims for those cars. Because I was honestly disappointed when I actually unlocked all the cars and found that you cannot actually do any type of customization to it. You can't change like the underglows, you can't change the license plate, you can't change the rims, you can't uh, add underglows or any type of tire smoke to it, you can't add a car horn. And I would say that it's justified because it's a KS Edition car and it's supposed to be a special edition car that pretty much like if you paid money for it because I paid $76 for this game and that's including taxes for the deluxe edition of this game and to find out that I couldn't actually uh, like you know customize the car so it's honestly sort of disappointing but at the same time you kind of actually have a point because like, if we pay money for those cars, we should actually be able to actually customize those cars the way we want to. And if we wanted to, we can actually make our own wraps and make our own versions of those cars. Because I was actually looking forward to actually making my own KS Edition Polestar. But if they can add that in this next Kaizo Saleem up car pack update, that will honestly be very, very good. Or at least allow us to change the wraps on it or change the rims. Now, the body kits and the spoilers, those can all stay. But we can at, can, we can at least change the car rims or change the license plates to it. Because it's not that hard. All we just got to do is just add it in do like an additional update and allow us to unlock the car um, and actually customize it the way we want to whether it's the paint the vinyl or the car rims or the license plate 
or the underglows, etc. Now, obviously, this is going to be the next real, I think that this is going to be like the next real update for the game and for Need for Speed Heat. But when is it coming is the big question that's on everybody's mind. Because now today, since we actually received the leaked screenshots of these cars and we actually got confirmation that... Ka Kaizo Salim and Need for Speed is actually going to be dropping somewhat of an update. I hope it's a free content update and not a car pack for these cars. Hopefully it's a free content update and the fact that we're actually receiving this update relatively soon and the big question is when is it coming? If it was up to me, I think my best guess is, is that it's either going to be coming mid-February or early March. That's my best best guess for when these cars are actually coming to the game and hopefully it's sooner than that because the, the files for these cars are already in the game and obviously they still need to do some type of work to those cars and actually fully render them out into the game and test them out and see that everything is running fine uh, when they're in the game and when that content update arrives but hopefully they can actually provide us that content update soon and hopefully I pray to Lord that these are not the only three cars that we're going to be receiving because I'm also going to bring up another screenshot on screen right now of another car that Kazo Salim also made on his Instagram it rendered out digitally it's the Toyota Supra and it's the new 2020 Toyota Supra and it's the new KS edition Toyota Supra that he made and rendered it out on his Instagram and showed off to 50,000 people almost 50,000 people might I add on his Instagram and obviously it's a very very good looking car and hopefully that the if they're gonna add a car pack like this and it's gonna be a hopefully a free content update the Toyota Supra and the KS edition Toyota Supra can also come in this update because this is honestly a perfect Perfect opportunity for Need for Speed and EA to actually add the Toyota Supra back into the game and also give us something special like the Toyota Supra KS Edition into the game as well. And hopefully more supercars and more uh, tuner cars into the game as well when it comes to Kaizo Salim cars. Now aside from these screenshots, we don't really have much regarding about when this update is coming, but hopefully it's coming soon and hopefully we get more information regarding this update in the next Under the Hood segment of Need for Speed Heat and can hopefully hype us up and hopefully a trailer could come for these cars to gas us up and hype us up some more for when this update comes. And I will keep you guys updated for when this content update comes into Need for Speed Heat and when the release date is going to be coming for this Kaizo Salim car pack update. But hopefully you guys actually enjoyed this video and found this video actually useful to you guys. Like what do you think about this KS Edition update? Are y'all actually excited for it? Are y'all expecting more cars to come? Because I know I'm sure as hell am expecting more cars to come including that Toyota Supra because I'm going to do backflips if that KS Edition Toyota Supra comes to the game along with the Mark 4 and the Mark 5. But let me know what you guys think about this video down in the comments down below. This your boy Guap. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you're new. And I'm out, bruh.